So we'll start with a quick calculation here. Um, so we want to find the unit tangent vector um, to the curve given by this particular vector valued function. So the first thing is you have to find r prime. Okay? So r prime is going to be minus 3 sine t, 3 cos t, and 4. The magnitude is going to be the square root of 9 sine squared t plus 9 cos squared t plus 16. And maybe you're getting the feeling that this problem was a bit of a setup. Right? The magnitude comes out to be nicer than we really reasonably should expect it to be. Um, that's going to combine to give me just 9 plus 16 is 25. Square root of 25, good old 5. Uh, and that means that the unit tangent vector is going to be, we just multiply by 1 over 5. So it's going to be minus 3 over 5 sine t, 3 over 5 cosine t, and then 4 over 5. Right? And now if we want the value at a couple of different points, well, t of 0 will be 0, 3 fifths, uh, 4 fifths, and yes, you can confirm that that is indeed a um, unit tangent. Um, and then at t of, say, 1, um, well, okay, the vector is not quite as nice, but 3 over 5 sine 1, 3 over 5 cosine of 1, and 4 over 5, right? And if we wanted to do, I don't know, t of pi over 2, maybe, then we'd, uh, then we would get uh, minus 3 over 5 here, 0 there, 4 over 5, right? We can plug in various values, and in each case, we do indeed get a unit vector as expected.